My name's Chevy Pereira. I'm one of the colorectal surgeons working at Sydney Colorectal Associates and I've been in specialist practice now for 18 years. I work predominantly in the Herschel Private, St George Private and St George Public Hospitals. Colonoscopy is an investigation where we put a fibre optic tube through the bottom and examine the large bowel. The real essence of the colonoscopy is to exclude bowel cancer but also diagnose polyps, diverticular disease and inflammatory bowel conditions such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. So bowel cancer is unfortunately very common. In Australia it's the second most diagnosed cancer each year and it's also the second highest cause of cancer related death in Australia. Each year nearly 15,000 people are diagnosed with bowel cancer and of that 1,500 are under the age of 50. So colorectal illnesses can occur in any, any age group and particularly bowel cancer can be seen from the age of 20 upwards. However, there's a slight uh, more, more common incidence in men over women and the commonest age group is between the 50 and 70 year old bracket. Symptoms of bowel cancer that we see most commonly are rectal bleeding and what does concern us most is dark blood that may be mixed with the bowel motion itself as opposed to fresh blood that may be just on the spotting or on the paper. The other symptoms include abdominal pain, a change in the bowel habit, so that's a sudden change from someone who may have been constipated for all their life to having diarrhoea or vice versa. We also may see patients with weight loss. Patients that should be on a surveillance program for a colonoscopy include those that have a family history of bowel cancer, those that might have had a previous colonoscopy and was found to have polyps at that time, and also those obviously that have had a previous history of bowel cancer itself. At Sydney Colorectal Associates, we are able to offer a complete colorectal service. There are five surgeons in the practice and therefore we ha have availability throughout the week to see patients coming through the rooms as an emergency or even through the public hospital where we're all on call. We offer a full range of both surgical and non-surgical procedures. We have stoma nurses within our practice and wound care nurses that can manage patients also, also post-operatively. If you have any symptoms such as rectal bleeding, abdominal pain, change in bowel habit or weight loss, or any risk factors such as a family history, then you should see your general practitioner and be referred for a colonoscopy.